hello guys uh, welcome to tech design i'm sorry guys it's been many days i haven't uploaded any video since i was very much busy with my online tutorials and i would like to inform or uh, tell you that guys uh, my two batches of online tutorials are successfully completed i wish all the best for the people who has joined me in uh, online tutorials if you wish to join my online tutorials you can just go to my channel and there is a whatsapp icon you can just tap on it and it will take you to the whatsapp application which you can directly chat to me i suggest you guys to join um, online tutorials since uh, uh, it is very interactive and you can learn my uni graphics very early and within a month you can able to learn the uni graphics okay let's move on to the tutorial today's tutorial so i'll go to nx and in this tutorial i'll be explaining you how we can make an offset surface as well as th giving a thickness to a surface so let us go to the new file and uh, i'll quickly go to new file and create a new file here uh, as you can see this is a no coordinate system so to explain you uh, offset surface i just wanted to create a surface here go to sketcher environment and let us select in a random datum plane and I will just uh, make some sketch here an arc here okay let us finish this sketch and uh, I'll extrude this to get a surface so you can see here uh, the surface is developed click OK and what I will do is, uh, suppose if you want to offset this uh, surface, just go to the surface tool command uh, called offset surface. So if you can see here, the offset uh, default uh, offset distance will be 5 mm. So you can select uh, uh, surface here, you can, uh, the offset surface will be generated. So if you want, you can give uh, more distance, I'll just give the 40 mm and as you can see if, okay the offset surface will be generated suppose if you want it in the other direction just go to the offset again and uh, select this uh, surface and give it in the reverse direction either you can give it as a reverse direction or else you can give the value in negative so hit enter so it will create in the opposite direction so uh, also you can see here in the offset curve uh, there is an, uh, a very important uh, a feature called uh, output how you need the output surface so I'll just explain this uh, before explaining I'll just delete these two so suppose uh, go to the offset and enlarge this this window and you can see here uh, there is an output file which has uh, two drop downs so one feature for each face and one feature for all faces as the sentence uh, gives you a clarity so what i will do is i will just select the face and if you want the offset surface should be in a single surface so you can select this and by default this will be on and if you select only one surface uh, will be generated uh, suppose you want the individual surfaces to be generated suppose go to the one feature for each face and select this so there are two surfaces here uh, one is with a straight line and the other is with the arc so it will generate two offset features uh, for in individual you can see here uh, two offset surfaces are generated in the same offset command uh, there is a list here you can add uh, many number of lists so what i will do is i will just select a single face here and I want to offset this uh, surface on this direction with about uh, 70 mm and I want to add uh, one more set of uh, surface if you can see here uh, I want to uh, I want to offset this uh, surface on the other direction so you can add a number of uh, sets here to offset in different different uh, uh, directions and make sure that when you are using this uh, you should always have one feature for uh, each face and then now if you click ok you can have uh, two different uh, offsets in uh, different directions so 
this is all about uh, offset curve guys so let's move on to the thickness so now let's go to thicken command so uh, in surface uh, toolbar there is a thicken command here so it will give as you know if you are working in uh, uh, unigraphics or surface modeling you should have know that uh, in unigraphics the surfaces is not having any thickness it is of zero thickness there is no thickness for the surfaces so once you do modeling any modeling in the surface uh, uh, work, workbench you need to give some amount of thickness for that so for that I will we need to go to thickness command and here you need to select a surface so you can see here uh, I select the surface and you can see there is a thickness of 2.5 mm if you want you can reduce it or you can increase it so and also you can select the direction on in which uh, you need uh, the thickness so you can click ok and it will be in solid mode. so thickness uh, will be given to the surface so in the same thicken command uh, there are some uh, other options which are very useful so what i will do is i'll just go here and let us expand this so region behavior so before going to region behave behavior uh, i'll just uh, create one of the sketch in order to explain that so let us go to sketch environment and uh, now we are into the sketcher environment so what i will do is i will just create an uh, closed surface so we should have uh, always a closed surface for uh, uh, this to work so what i will do is i will take an arc okay let's close this and one more arc over here with uh, less radius and let us close this this is a rough sketch in order to show you guys how it works so you can see here there is an uh, constraint which is showing the the only in this position in this uh, location it is having a tangency so let us give a tangency in other side as well press c for a shortcut so let us go to tangent and uh, make these two tangent as well as these two as well as this one sketch is fully constrained okay yeah so now what i will do is i will just close it and uh, finish the sketch you can see this this uh, surf sketch is on this surface so what i will do is i will just go to thicken and uh, i'll select this surface entire surface and 2 mm is the thickness given by default so I'll just expand this region behavior. So here you can see region to peers. So what is th what does this mean is, so you need to select a region that is closed a region in which you don't need to give a thickness. Suppose for example, I want I will select this surface. So go to select curve, and uh, let us select this curve. So now as you can see here, except this area. Uh, the surface is thickened so this is not having any thickness over here and uh, okay you can see here i'll just show you with a zoom you can see there is a step here this is the surface if you hide this and the hole is there okay this is the use of uh, one of the most useful command in uh, thicken so there is an one more uh, uh, option here region of different thickness you can see here i'll just explain that let us delete this okay now thicken and i want to thicken this surface i can see here region of a different thickness you can give different thickness to any closed entity suppose uh, i'll just select this and uh, you need to mention the thickness of this here the entire surface is having a 2 mm thickness you can give either which is uh, not 2 that's it so i'll just give 5 mm and i you can also create a number of uh, op uh, closed uh, some sketches on this surface and you can give different different thicknesses for this um, you can go to here and uh, add one more list and uh, select that uh, closed sketch so this is how it works if you click ok and uh, the entire surface is having a 2 mm thickness but only at this uh, 
location it is having by mm thickness whatever the thickness it will give so this is how it works and uh, one more option is existing in the thicken so let us for that i will just go to the just delete this and i'll just go to sketch let's select this let us create an uh, rectangle over here and finish the sketch okay now i'll uh, extrude this let's select this and not this much let us assume it will be around 40 mm okay so uh, what i will do is suppose you will want to build a surface uh, we want to build a make a thicken of this surface as well to unite this with a solid body so in that case uh, you can do it in the thicken command itself go to thicken and uh, i don't want to be the part of this is already explained so what i will do is i'll just uh, thicken it with a 2mm and there is a boolean operation you can go here and you can select knight so uh, by default there is no other body which is uh, attached to this uh, surface so it has taken this body if you want you can just remove it and uh, if you have any other body which is uh, uh, in contact with this surface you can select that and you can click ok and uh, there will be thicken which is uh, having united with this surface body also there is an one more uh, option in thicken so let us go command and everything is explained and if you expand this checkmate is uh, not useful so in the settings you can see here improve gash topology to enable thickening suppose if you go here it will show you the details suppose there are there are two adjacent uh, surfaces which are not completely in contact with uh, each other in that case uh, if there is a minor uh, gap uh, like for example 0.01 mm uh, in that case uh, it will sieve the those uh, surface in and it will create a thicken in order that's all guys uh, for the today please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you